everything's going really super good in the greenhouse. This is just an update on the growth, the pathways, everything's going. Wait, what's going on down here? I'm gonna catch this frog. Cut it. You look like a frog down there catching the frog. What do we have here? A big frog. Smile. Welcome to construction video number four and welcome back to the channel. In this video, you're going to see the greenhouse get all of its dirt put inside of it, as well as the outside walls being insulated. And most excitingly, the trusses and the polycarbonate glazing will be installed. Well, we've got Keisha out here helping us. Hi, Keisha. Meow. So we spent the whole day we are now, we're just tweaking the dirt. We're just about ready for the truck loader to come and go over the wall and fill up the dirt. So we've got our cold air vents uh, for our cold air drop returns. We're putting them 32 inches from the wall, which will give us enough space for our two foot blue water barrels. Um, just for dirt, while the dirt is coming in, we've we've, duct tape them to some t-post for spacing um doesn't look like we've accomplished much today definitely the hardest labor day we've moved all of our um air intakes to the back wall uh did a little something a little special something in the middle there i'll tell you about later um so now we just gotta set these eight and we'll be good to go uh more than half the day was just simply on uh, sprinkler menageries it was a nightmare and then we've also got the the fence taken down from the trailer park so we'll be able to take dirt in between trailers up and over and the backfill will be extremely rewarding um, we put in a conduit for electricity even though we don't plan on hooking it up at least not initially we put in uh, five hose bibs, one, two, way over there, three, four in the greenhouse and one outside. And so I'm ready for a drink of water. Very successful day. Thank you, Alyssa. Well, we're mixing all the dirt and it feels good. We're going from black pile and white pile and making that over there. So I don't know if this has been the exact way to do it. Let me try to switch it around. Uh, never mind, I won't switch it. But I've just been doing two scoops from one, two scoops to the other, and then uh, lifting it up and down a couple of times, trying to get the perfect mixture. We started to mix compost together. Well, this is my life for a little while. I've only done three loads, and there's probably, oh crap, I don't even know. Maybe 40 left to go. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of dirt to move. The tight squeeze in between the trailers, that's for sure. And up the daisy. big old bucket. Can't even imagine doing this with a wheelbarrow. It would take 10,000 years, that's for sure. And just like that, 
It's a little faster with two hands, but you get the point. No big deal. Back to home base. Looking back on this, I'm very glad that we took the time and spent the money to create a very good topsoil mixture. I'm glad that we took out the native soil, which was very clay and rock oriented. Lots of progress. We've used up quite a bit of foam. Right now what we're doing is putting two layers of foam across the foundation. So the whole front has got its uh, four inches of foam. Uh, we've got the green plate going on. We've done most of the back filling of the rough dirt, basically just back filling that little chasm. And then the footer level and maybe two inches um, above of crappy dirt. And then the good dirt will come in later. So these back two grow beds are all the way filled with my amazing topsoil blend. Um, will actually keep overfilling um, like you see over there the good soil is is in the middle of the greenhouse so all of this has to have about six inches of good dirt in it as well so lots more dirt to move but my gosh we've moved several mountains already so feeling a little bit better and going about a third as quick as I thought that's the way it always is with dad projects Riding around in my automobile My baby beside me at the wheel Rockin' rock and roll But no particular place to go Okay, we've got the whole back filled with great dirt And now, this front grow bed, we've got the sprinklers done and secured And so we're actually putting two layers of this foam board in front and then some of this plastic over the top and then capping it off with some Trex decking material which will be used for a later project we'll tell you about in a couple of days. So after this we can backfill the dirt and after that we can actually start putting trusses on. Here's my help with Devin, he is a little worn out as we all are but it's coming along. Many people wonder how we get all the stuff done that we get done. So this is how. Just building a greenhouse, what are you doing? Alyssa, what? what you doing? Hey Debbie, what you doing? Mommy, what you doing? So Keisha fills up the bucket and then Alyssa carries it down and we it down here. Okay, the end of another hard day and Keisha is the first one to use the ramp good? in the Manti greenhouse. We got all the beds filled literally all of them you have no idea probably a hundred loads um, in the traco so 100 cubic yards of dirt we've got the plate on the front we're putting the plate on the back all the back filling on the two sides in the front is done so it looks messy but very very good day As we began the trusses, the first four or five were an absolute nightmare. It was really tough to 
bring to life what had been in my head, especially when how it would be constructed was still a little bit unclear. But after we got past the first few, it went really quick and was extremely rewarding. And as we put on the double wall polycarbonate, we did use silicone inside each of the H joints to act okay, as a video. buffer and to lock the polycarbonate in place. Very glad we did this. <laughs> Nate, do you like this day? Uh, yeah, better than yesterday. Oh, good. <laughs> I've had a blast. Cody's here helping us. Woohoo! We thought we'd be a little further along, but that's okay. We're learning as we go. You want to see Dad? Look at him. He is so crazy. Oh, that is blinding. Ooh. You want to see daddy? Yeah. Okay. There he is. He's doing a greenhouse for us. <laughs> well, I'm not sure what day this is for the greenhouse, but I've got my workers over here, Mr. Cody and my sweetie, Miss Becca. We're pre drilling and placing on our brackets for our purlins for. Dun, 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 dun. The greenhouse. So we're over halfway done with the glass and it's been an absolute monster. Where are the brackets? In the But cab? we're happy. For the back. Just kidding. Oh my. I'd like to thank Greg Sterner for being on the camera. And I'd like to thank my grunts. We're on like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Shout out to himself. <laughs> this is like 11 of, holy crap. 17. We haven't had any mishaps yet. We pre-measured. This is a... Uh, and now I can't see my mark. But I tried to jiggle them around so that they can see what they're doing and then I hurry and get her in the, in the ground, in the concrete. Cody will come and keep you straight. Nate, turn it on hammer. Film until you get old faithful. Like that. <laughs> oh, this is the wrong drill. <clears throat> we grab. Oh, camera. There will you, you grab that drill over there? Where is it? Oh, I can see it. So you can <laughs> you can undrill or unrecord. Keisha's helping. Uh, that's my beat. So normally we would hammer that in. And then it's set. We're using these big old four inch anchors, tethering this bad boy into the two foot concrete wall here, six and a half foot concrete wall on the back. We will now do that with a hammer drill. We have switched every drill bit out and every drill piece in history. It's been a long day. My advice is don't do it. My advice is hire Cody Trithal. And if you have a hammer drill, turn the hammer on. <laughs> yes, that's been blowing in my face all day. It's lovely. All right, you're up. Dun dun dun. You can, that's good. Cut. What you got there? So there it was, I just got done with the greenhouse and I'm so excited about that. But then I saw, what? Someone ordered me a copy of 40 Book of Mormons. I'm like, what the heck? Did you do that, Becca? She's like, Nate, meet your Griswold. The Griswold lid. This right here is what is money. Oh my, oh my it has God. A lid. It's a beautiful shape. Mm. He packaged that well. I told him. 
If it breaks, there's no money in it for him, including the shipping. <laughs> oh, that is deep. That is awesome. Holy crap, dude, it's in perfect shape. This is the real test. Oh my God. Oh my word, party on! Thank you. Money will be sent. Well, this is a beautiful sight. Our lawn is coming back to life. We're all backfilled in the front. And the very last piece of glass, double wall polycarbonate is coming right now. And the greenhouse is looking good. Well, if I do look hot and miserable, it's because I am. But what just happened, Becca? We put in the last truss. The last truss in the green mansion. Mr. Cody Trithal is our witness. It is completed. The temple's getting its overview too. It was an absolute pain in the butt, but it is finished. The glazing is anyway. Onto metal roof and foaming the back wall. Ring, ring goes the bell. When the last thing else we all run.